Hi, I'm Ed Zunda in Kiev, Ukraine, and this is What the Funk. Hello, and welcome back to my channel. Uh, sorry I've been away for quite a long time. I've actually been traveling quite a bit and uh, have been very busy with uh, a few side projects. Uh, I'm actually filming this video from uh, Kiev, Ukraine, and uh, I should be heading back to the U.S. in a couple of weeks, and I'm hoping to kind of get on a better schedule so I can actually start putting out more um, content for you guys. But uh, thanks for uh, being back with me, and in this video, we're going to um, go over how to install um, the Parity uh, Ethereum uh, server slash client on uh, your server. So what is Parity and what is this actually used for? Um, basically it's an alternative to the official Ethereum uh, client called Geth. Um, Parity is uh, basically um, the same thing but uh, uh, in my opinion it's a lot slicker and there are a lot more features and I think it runs a little bit faster and is more um, efficient. And basically what you're going to use this or Geth for is if you're trying to build a decentralized application that needs to talk to the Ethereum blockchain. Um, so this is basically your gateway to the Ethereum blockchain. The client talks to the blockchain um, and then your app using the Web3 um, JavaScript client that we've talked about in other videos um, is going to connect to this client um, and then talk to the blockchain that way. So without further ado, let's uh, dive right in. So first thing we're going to do is go over to the Parity website, which is parity.io. Um, and then we're going to click on Get Parity. And this is going to take you down to some information uh, about Parity. Um, but what we care about is actually right here. Um, so um, in this video, we're going to basically cover Mac or uh, Linux based uh, servers because um, most servers are going to be running on Linux anyway. If you're running a Windows server, there's some information here, but we're not going to cover that in this video. So I've already got a Linux server set up on my um, DigitalOcean account. Um, you can set it up anywhere you like, but I just happen to use DigitalOcean because I like them. Uh, and then we're just going to copy this command that they have right here. Um, and I've got, I'm already logged into the um, this server, so I'm just going to paste this in uh, and then basically run it. And then um, that's it. So it basically just downloaded that, um, got the, uh, the parity com uh, binary um, from the server, and then set it up. But we're going to need a few other things before we start uh, working with this. So we're going to need um, what are called the build essential tools for Ubuntu. And that's basically compilers and libraries and stuff you need to actually um, build the Web3 client. And we're also going to need um, Node.js because the Web3 JavaScript client runs on Node.js. So we're going to... Um, update our uh, package manager. So if you're familiar with Ubuntu, this is how you update your your package manager. Uh, maybe a little different in on Macs, but we're focusing on Linux here. So we've got that. And then we're going to go uh, build essential. Uh, and then for Node.js, we're just going to go over to the official Node.js website, nodejs.org. Uh, and we want the latest. Well, actually, we don't want to download that. We want, uh, we want to click on other downloads. And then we want to go to install Node.js by package manager. And we're using... Ubuntu, and we want the version 8, which is the latest right here. Let me blow this up so you guys can see it. Um, 
we're just going to copy these commands in here. So it looks like our build tools have already been installed. So we're just going to copy this command. It's going to update everything again. And it's going to install Node.js, or it's going to get all the libraries needed for Node.js. And then all we need to do is run apt-get install. And the last piece is installing the Web3 JavaScript library. So the way we do that is npm install Web3. And that's going to install that library for us. So we can actually talk to our parity client um, using JavaScript. All right, now Web3 has been installed. Parity has been installed. Let's go ahead and start the Parity server. Uh, and all you need to do is type Parity. It should do everything it needs to. Um, and then it'll start syncing with the main Ethereum blockchain. All right, now that we have our Parity client running, let's go ahead and try to connect to it with uh, Web3. So I've already uh, opened up a new terminal and logged into our server. Let's run Node.js and let's load up Web3. And by the way, if this seems uh, a little confusing to you, go ahead and check out my front end uh, web clients on Ethereum series, um, the previous videos on my channel, and they kind of go into this a little more in depth. So it'll kind of explain what I'm actually doing right now. So we've loaded up the Web3 library. Let's create a new client instance. And let's go ahead and connect to our parity client. So Web3 set provider. And we need a new HTTP provider. Localhost 8545. All right. And just to check to make sure we are connected, as you can see, it's over here um, syncing with the blockchain. So just to check that it's connected, let's go ahead and see the status of um, what's actually syncing. So let's do web 3eth and then the ETH object has this in is syncing function. Um, and then it actually takes another function as an argument. And that function needs to take an error and then a sync object. And then we're just going to console.log sync and then close out this function. So basically, if it's still syncing, we're going to have some data inside this object and it's going to tell us basically the status of syncing. So here we've console.logged our sync object and basically um, this is the current block it's on um, and then the highest block um, on the Ethereum blockchain right now as we're filming this video. Um, and then once it's done syncing we won't actually get this object it'll actually show up as um, undefined. So um, that's basically it. Um, in future videos, uh, I'll probably go over um, some other things you can do with Parity. So setting up a, a new Coinbase or wallet, importing um, your current wallet. So maybe you, you already have a wallet you want to use and use that wallet to interact with Ethereum blockchain along with your, your, your applic any applications that you're building. So um, stay tuned and I hope you liked this video. If you did, Please hit like um, if you like this channel, hit subscribe, and make sure to tell your friends. Thanks.